Yes, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. My name is Kim. Uh, full name is Kim Mary Kikon, but people usually know me as Kim. Uh, well, my name is Bon Chura Shatang from uh, Manipur. Uh, actually, my name is Romil and I'm from Lucknow. My name is Narum Kimi Nokam. I'm, I'm, I'm from Mizoram. Hi, everyone. This is uh, Pila. Here I, my full name is Pila Kim Yangya. Uh, my name is Vijay Chan. I'm from Uttarakhand. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Pedi and I'm from uh, Nagaland. Yeah, my name is Pratik Sharma and uh, I'm from Agra. My name is uh, Atipra and I'm from Manipur. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another video. First of all, thank you so much for showing your love and support. In the last video, few people were inquiring on how much their savings on money wise. So today I decided to interact with few people on how much their savings on money wise. And I believe it will definitely differ from person to person on how much they are saving. And this video is nothing to show off their you know savings, but to be a great example for many youngsters. So let's get to hear from our friends on how much they are making savings out of their salary. Thank you so much for participating in this video. I'll be asking you a few questions. To begin with, could you kindly introduce yourself by saying your name and where are you from? Of course. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. My name is Kim. Uh, full name is Kim Mary Kikon, but people usually know me as Kim. And I have been here in Delhi for eight years now. Okay. So you have been working from the last eight years or uh, how long have you been working? Yes, I have been actually. As soon as I reached Delhi, the whole motive was to come here and work, right? Okay. I got married and I came here and I wanted to start working. So I got married in the month of April and June, I joined uh, an organization and that's how I started working. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And actually, we got married uh, on the same month. Even Yay. mine was April. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. good to know. Right. So since you have been working for quite some time, um, mm -hmm. wondering, have you made any kind of uh, investment thus far? I wouldn't say an investment per se, but yes, I have been able to save a couple of bucks. And with that, I've been, uh, me and my spouse, we have been supporting my uh, in-laws with the studies and even with my brother as well. Not only that, just recently we bought a piece of land and then uh, construction is going on so I'm right. pretty excited about that it's a little frustrating and you know a lot of financial burden but I am happy that I was able to bring myself to this position so that I'm like not only financially independent but at the same time I was able to help my family and as well as uh, build a home for myself oh congratulations for your Thank new you. plot of land as well and for the new construction that is going on and I hope that this will work out well um, out of your monthly salary on average how, uh, how much are you able to save Mm, I don't have a fixed number. The reason mm -hmm. being, you know, emergency comes up here and there every I agree. now and then. But on an average, maybe somewhere around uh, four to five percent. Okay, that's great. That's a great amount. Is there any message that you'd like to share to the younger generations as well as people back at home? Yes, this message, especially out to the people who, I mean, the young lots who are back at home from Northeastern. Uh, you know, we have a stigma in uh, Northeast thinking that people who are out here coming to the metro cities, they are out here, you know, just to have fun. Yeah, I have seen a lot of uh, people coming here uh, with the tag that they are here for studies, for coaching centers and so on. However, I've seen the way that they have changed their lifestyle is like drastically opposite to what they're aiming I mean, the goal was. So I would like to go ahead and encourage every one of you to, you know, stick with the goal that you are here for. We need to go ahead and ensure that we change the perspective of the people back at home. The old generation, uh, the boomers, they don't have that mentality, you know, that people out here are here to work, to go ahead and uh, financially help uh, the family out. But we know we are here, we've been working here for so long. And I have seen a lot of people wherein they are here for, the, you know, financial independence. Not only that, I have seen them grow up in organization, building themselves up, not only financially, but with their professional life and with their uh, mentality as well. So it is our job to go ahead and change those mindset of the people back at home. And that we can show just by showing uh, the way that we are living and the way that we are portraying ourselves. It should not be more of an Instagram life, I would say, but it should be more of the way doing the walk and talk kind of situation, you know? So that's a small message that I want to go ahead and spread to the young generations. Like, uh, it is our job to go ahead and change the uh, stigma, or we should say uh, to go ahead and change the um, 
what do you call that? Uh, stereotype. Yep, the stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to go ahead and change the stereotype. That's all I wanted to share. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thank you so much for being a great example for many youngsters. I believe that many youngsters will learn something out of this interview. And thank you for being a part of this video. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, my name is Bonchu Rajadang from uh, Manipur. Thank you. And how long have you been working here in Delhi? Well, uh, I should say that since uh, to now, it's going to be uh, 12 years now working in uh, N Delhi NCR. Oh, that's quite a long year though. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. So since you have been working here for quite some time, uh, have you made any kind of uh, investment with your out of your savings? Yeah, I do. Uh, first of all, I should say that after working in this uh, Delhi NCR for 12 years, the first thing that I have done for my uh, family, I should say for my parents, right. I have uh, gifted them a car. Mm -hmm. It's a token of gift. And on top of that, I have, uh, uh, I have a land that I have bought. It's, uh, it's been like four years now. I have bought a one land and plot in my in, in our district. Okay. And on top of that, I can save uh, some money for my family. Especially, I have kept two insurance. Oh. So that is the benefit. That's wonderful. On monthly basis, how much are you able to save, uh, keeping aside your insurance and your house rent and, and other expenditures? I should say. I should say approximately it will be uh, say five to six percent. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. So thank you for being a good example for the youngsters. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for participating in this video. I'll be asking you a few questions. To begin with, could you please kindly introduce yourself by saying your name and where are you from? Uh, actually, my name is Omil and I'm from Lucknow. Thank you. And my next question to you is, how long have you been working here in Delhi? Uh, it's, it's been nine years I'm working in, in Delhi, yeah. All right, that's quite a long year though. Yeah. yeah. So my next question to you is, have you made any kind of investment since you have been working for nine years? Actually, uh, if I talk about investment, I haven't done any investment. But okay. whatever I'm getting out of those salary, I'm saving some money. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, you know, giving that money to my parents and they are doing investment. You know, uh, buying land and property and, and doing all kind of other stuff. So from, from my point of view, I, I'm not making any investment. It's my parents, they are doing it. Okay, so which basically means uh, your parents is taking the initiative on behalf of you. Yeah, yeah, they are they're handling everything. They are the one who is taking care of my finances, my right. accounts and everything. Yeah. All right, you trust your parents yeah. quite a lot. <laughs> All right, uh, my next question to you is, how much are you able to save on monthly basis working here uh, in Delhi? Uh, you know, uh, the, the experience which I have, it, it varies actually. The company which I'm working, I'm getting salary also. And on the basis of my team performance, mm -hmm. I'm getting incentive also. So. If I talk about current conditions, uh, approximately I'm saving like around uh, maybe like, you know, 40 to 45,000 every month. All right. That's a great amount though. Yeah. And how could you save that uh, that much of amount on monthly basis? Is there any secret to that? No, the, the, the thing is, uh, uh, being a son of an army man, uh, my lifestyle is very simple. I don't go for parties. I don't have any other habits of drinking and something other, you know, the people are doing it, but I'm not into that. My lifestyle is very simple. Most of the time, I'm spending my money on uh, rent okay. and, uh, and, and and on the food items also. So that's, that's the only expenses I have. And that's why I'm able to save this much of money. All right. Thank you so much for being a great example for many viewers. I hope they will learn some, something out of it. And thank you for participating. Thank you. Thank you so much, my thank friend, you. for having me. Thank you. Most you were there already in my previous video. However, for the new viewers, could you please kindly introduce yourself by saying your name and where are you from? My name is Nalom Kimi Nokan. I'm, I'm, I'm from Mizoram. Thank you. And it's been how long that you have been working here in Delhi? Almost two years. Okay. And how much do you send home on monthly basis? 30,000. 30,000. Yes. So out of your salary that you are getting, you're sending home 30,000. Yes, sir. All right. That's it a lot, actually. And thank you for being a good example to many youngsters. Thank you so much for participating in this video. I'll be asking you a few questions. To begin with, could you kindly introduce yourself by saying your name and where are you from? Sure. Hi everyone. This is uh, Pila. Pila I, my full name is Pila Kim Yangya. And I have been uh, staying in Delhi with my parents from the past 18 years now. And uh, we, are, we have a very small family, just four of us, me, my dad, my brother and me. So it's a small and a happy family. 
That's great to hear. And since you have been here for the last 18 years, have you done your schooling from Delhi? Yes, actually I started my schooling from the third standard and I completed my graduation from Delhi University. Oh, that's great to hear. So my next question to you is, how long have you been working in Delhi? Well, it's, uh, I will say, uh, four years. Four years. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so actually my uh, thing was I did not plan to work. I wanted to actually, uh, you know, start my master's right after I completed my graduation. But then due to that lockdown, suddenly everything changed. Right. So I wanted to go ahead and get some experience how, uh, like, because my mom used to say that, you know, earning money is very difficult. Right. So you need to know. Uh, so that's how I started uh, working. And okay. I joined an organization and then, yeah, I have been working in the same organization from the last four years. Great. So since you have been working here from the last uh, four years, I'm wondering, have you made any kind of uh, investment thus far? Uh, I will not say an investment, mm -hmm. but I was able to go ahead and save some. And yeah, I'm planning to go ahead and do something, okay. which I will not want to reveal it, but yeah. I, I am planning to go ahead and do something. All right, that's great to hear and I wish you the best. And my next question to you is, on monthly basis, how much are you able to save on average? Uh, well, I, to be precise, I don't have the exact amount because over here, it's not that you know I am staying alone, I am staying with my family as well. So financially, I'm supporting them and since they have supported me and my brother since childhood. Right. So it's time for me to pay back. Right. right so right, I right. have been supporting my uh, parents financially as well. My brothers, even though he's working. So uh, I don't have an exact amount, but an emergency as well. Like it doesn't come. Uh, it always comes unplanned. So right. uh, I'll, if I like... If I get incentives and everything, mm -hmm. I am able to go ahead and save up some amount, but okay. um, not. I don't have an exact precise amount that yeah, on a monthly basis, I'm able to save 10,000, 20,000. I don't have a precise amount, but yeah, something. Is, is there any message that you would like to share to the younger generation or people back at home? Yeah, uh, these days uh, what happens is when I go ahead and talk with my uncle, aunt, who are back hometown. Uh, when I go ahead and talk to them regarding uh, their uh, children, it's just that they have a fear that they don't want to send their kids up in uh, cities because it's going to spoil their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Because back home, they are like helping their parents in field work or anything. So they think that when they are back at home, they'll be more responsible. <laughs> but when they, are, when they send their children, in this uh, cities like Mumbai, Delhi, or what are metropolitan cities, they think that they're gonna spoil their lifestyle because in cities it's more like hi fi lifestyle, like uh, it's more about party and everything. So, mm -hmm. what I want to go ahead and tell is that coming up in metropolitan cities is not all about enjoying going for parties and everything, but yeah, if you actually go ahead and send uh, the, your younger, like your children, or I'll say uh, the younger, younger ones in metropolitan city, and then let them go ahead and explore. Right. What I'll go ahead and uh, say is that it will be a good experience, and it's not just that you know everyone who comes in uh, Delhi or uh, any uh, Mumbai or Bangalore. It's all about having fun. If they have set a goal and if they have an aim in life, then and if they are keen to that, if they go ahead and if they're positive, if they stay positive, and then they can go ahead and achieve everything. Like I was, like if I go ahead and take an example of me, my parents never wanted me to work, but after joining an organization, they are quite happy, and it changed, it completely changed their mentality, it completely changed their thinking and perspective of working, uh, of sending a girl out and then letting the girl work late at night, right? So. Uh, and then I'm happy that I joined an organization and I'm in a good position, I'll say. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, it, it's a good experience. So I will just say the parents back hometown to go ahead and change their thinking perspective and then let the younger ones explore, right? right? And then send them and make them do what they want, what they're aiming for in life. 
Absolutely. And thank you so much for being a great example for your colleagues and as well as for the younger generations. I hope they will learn something out of this interview. And thank, thank you. you for participating. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Vijay Chand. I'm from Uttarakhand. Thank you. And how long have you been working here in Delhi? If I talk about my total experience in Delhi NCR, I've been working uh, from last 16 years. Since you have been working for quite a long years, have you made any kind of investment? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have a few investment done. Uh, I mean, like I have few LIC policies uh, for my for my family security. And uh, recently, last year, I have I have bought new flat. Uh, that's all uh, I have done investment. Uh, congratulations for your new flight. How much are you able to save on monthly basis out of your salary? Okay, if I talk about my savings from my salary, it depends uh, month to month because after doing all the investment, uh, after paying my LICs, my uh, loan for my uh, house, for my house expenses, grocery and all, I mean, uh, yeah, I can save five to ten thousand minimum but it depends if i'm getting incentive on every month then i can save more so it depends uh, monthly to monthly basis but yeah i can save at least 10 to fifteen thousand. all right that's great to hear and thanks for being a great example for many viewers you were there already in my previous video however for the new viewers could you kindly introduce yourself by saying your name and where are you from yeah uh, my name is uh Pedi and I'm from uh, Nagaland. Yeah. Thank you so much. And it's been how long that you have been working here in Delhi? Uh, it's been a two and a half years. So by this October, it will be uh, three years. Thank you. And my next question to you is, since you have been working for the last, working from the last two and a half years, have you made any kind of investment so far? So uh, in these two and a half years, uh, my first investment, what I make is uh, I just buy a plot of land at back home at Nagaland. So that's my first investment. And also uh, recently I just started one small business. So let's see like whether it will expand or whether it will go down. But I'm looking forward for my new business. So yeah, that's what I did it in this uh, two years stay in Delhi, two and a half years. Yeah. Wow. All right. That's wonderful to hear. And I wish you the best. And my last question to you is, how much are you able to save on monthly basis out of your salary? Uh, monthly basis, uh, it depends on the situations. Uh, it depends on my situation and my back home situations because uh, sometimes I used to send money at, even to my back at homes. So it depends on the situation. So uh, around like maybe like 10k to 20k, I used to save yeah, in a monthly year. Yeah, my name is Pratik Sharma and uh, I'm from Agra. Thank you. How long have you been working here in Delhi? It's been almost 10 years now. All right, that's quite a long year though. Yeah. All right, so since you have been working for the last 10 years, have you made any kind of investment so far? Uh, yes, currently uh, I'm investing in stocks. All right, that's great. On monthly basis, how much are you able to save uh, out of your salary? Like currently, I'm investing around like 15 to 20 percent of my salary in stocks. Uh, I invested in mutual funds, wherein okay. uh, investing like 50, 15 to 20 percent monthly basis okay. in stocks, systematic investing plans, and uh, it depends. Like it depends on my uh, incentive as well. If when I get more uh, incentive, I invest more. In stocks. Yes, my name is uh, Atipro and I'm from Manipur. Thank you. Uh, how long have you been working here in Delhi? Uh, I'll complete two years by next month. Thank you. Yes. And my question to you is, how much are you able to save on money wise? Uh, that depends on how much I earn because, yeah, uh, depends on incentive as well. So not much, sometimes 10, sometimes 15k, 10 to 15k right, monthly. That's, yeah. That's not bad. As we have seen in this video interaction, it comes to the conclusion that not everybody is same. There are quite a lot of people who have done good things for their family, for themselves, for youngsters. Those who are much into spending money, 
I hope they learned something out of this interview. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.